What's up? Family? Family? I hope today finds you all doing well. I'm doing pretty good. I did get a phone call from my prospective new employer just touching base with me to let me know that they're still waiting for my background check to clear so that we can move forward. So I'm pretty excited. It'd be so nice to make good food again. So send your well wishes. I would appreciate that. I talked about this in my last video in case you haven't watched it. We, uh, we got ourselves a grail. It was a purchase. It wasn't a win. But we added this amazing pop to the collection, which completes our Batman Beyond. I did not realize how expensive this thing was. So we got a pretty good deal on that. A lot of those pops, the higher end Batman ones, they've gone up ridiculous in value since COVID happened. Which is good, but I'm hoping that they stay about where they're at and they don't go back down to pre-COVID values someday. We'll see. Um, bam. Bam. Subscribe. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and do it. Down the road, there's potential for winning prizes. So today's keyword is going to be Funko Shop Exclusives Book Bar Bros Book Bar Collectibles and Chef Knife. None of, the, none of the things in this box are Funko related. Um, I do plan on going camping next spring and summer with my best friend who lives here in Yakima. I haven't been camping in like 20 or 30 years. So I'm hoping that my fondness in my memories for camping in a tent match up with the reality as a 50 year old going camping. It should be just fine. So, I got a sleeping bag. Got that a few days ago. Next thing I needed was a tent. Got a tent in here. Next thing I need is to decide, after doing some research, whether or not I should get a very good quality air mattress or a cot. I have you guys probably are like, dude, can we see what Funkos you got? Leave a comment below. Let me know what's up. Ring the bell over there. So when I produce new content, you will be notified. I sound a little stuffy. A little congested. I don't know. I'm not there. Alright, so first things first. Let's get into this box. And see how these look in real life. One of the things about buying things from Amazon is you don't get to actually touch it before you buy it. So the picture could be misleading. That's not the case. Okay. So here is my knife. It is the Mercer Culinary Ultimate White 10 inch chef knife. The handle is the thing that concerned me as well. See, that's perfect. A lot of knives, you got to be careful because when you're doing a lot of prep, they don't have this nice continuous edge and the knife will rub into the inside of your finger over and over and over and over and over again and it hurts. But this feels very comfortable, very well balanced. High carbon, stainless steel. We're going to leave it in here for now. Keep it intact. Don't need the 
box, though. I don't think the bubble wrap was super necessary for these items. So I'm obviously not going to open it up, but we got a tent in here. It's a little two-person tent. I got it because it has a complete encased rain fly. Now, without the rain fly, this thing is like a convertible. There's like mostly mesh windows, which is pretty sweet. But I might have to set this up in my living room and sleep in it once I get everything. But there you go. Tent, knife. What more could a man ask for? Well, other things. All right, back. This wasn't going to fit up here with the other box. As you can see, Funko. Funko did a fall Funko Shop exclusive drop a few days ago. Let's see what we got from the Funko Shop drop. It's actually, uh, Funko's doing pretty good with shipping. I got the NYCC stuff in less than a week. And same with this, I think. Alright, well, we got ton more of this paper I just finally got rid of. Both items are in sorter. One of the things I hate about paper is it's so loud. So we'll open up that one next. Okay. 10-inch pops. Great googly moogly. That was so noisy. God, I don't have a crop. A crop dust. Okay. This big old dude. I like this box that I can use as a sorter for shipping to protect these. Okay. The glow in the dark 10 inch boogie boogie with dice. Ah, it's whatever. <laughs> Little bit of damage on the exclamation bubble. So, Nightmare Before Christmas. I still have not seen this. I have the Sandy Claus because I mean they're all Christmas pops, but Sandy Claus is Christmassy. Plastic's a little pushed in right there. You know it's hard with these big boxes. They get. They get dinged up. But, yep, there it is. Glow in the Dark. Funko Shop. Limited Edition. Exclusive 10 inch. Man, those things are ridiculously large. And then... I was excited for this one. Love this movie. Just, uh, not rabbit hole I'm going to go down. There's a lot of very expensive ones in this line. Wow, this was... We had a box inside of a box. And then we have a box inside of a box. So the last two things I've gotten from Funko have been shipped very well. Previous purchase from Funko not so much. Their shipper boxes are pretty low quality. They don't do a lot of protection. But there we go. From Back to the Future. Marty and Jacket. His sleeves are too long. There you go. Very cool. Box. 
is obviously in crisp, clean, mint condition. There's some of the other Back to the Future Pops. Make sure we got the Funko Shop Limited Edition. So this one did end up selling out. It took a while. But Alright, so this was 20 bucks. Which is interesting because the Beast was $50? Maybe this was 30 but the Comic-Con piece was 50 bucks, which is surprising. Make sure we save that sorter. Let's see if these are in the Pop Price Guide. Oh, one thing I saw that's on Pop Price Guide that's pretty cool is that little news feed when you open it up. And uh, apparently, Seven Bucks a Pop has their signature series, exclusive Seven Bucks Pop, and those are going to be now included in the database because I have one signed pop and it is a seven bucks a pop signature series it was one of the rare ones there's only ten of these and it's signed by Val Kilmer Batman okay boogie boogie ten inch the glow in the dark ten inch has a estimated value of $45. Sad. And then Marty and Jacket. This one should do a little bit better. I mean, right now its estimated value is $50, which is $35 more than we paid. Not bad. There's been one sale for $50, basically. So. All right. So finally. I'd like to welcome everybody that has fast forwarded up to this point. We'll be opening up our mystery box. The first time trying out this seller. It's on Instagram. He has a YouTube channel. So go check that out. Subscribe if you like it. Um, he just started doing mystery boxes. Goes by the name of Book Bar Collectibles. He's got some mystery boxes that a little higher end, I mean, not like hundreds of dollars, but they're they're above fifty dollars. He had a special on this one. This was like the Mega Grail or Super Grail. I can't remember. Um, but yeah, we got this for fifty nine, I believe. Uh, we better look it up. All right, so this was the price reduced. Epic Funko Pop Mystery Box Hunt for Glow in the Dark Captain America. And we paid $59 for this. So, I think they were originally $80. And I can't remember if it's guaranteed value. So, we're going here a little blind, a little mysterious. The box did get a little bit pushed in. So, hopefully, there was enough protection in there that whatever pop is on this side did not take any damage. Because these are not U-line boxes. So, far inferior. 32 pound edge crush test compared to 200. All right, so there are four pops in here. There's a little bit of bubble wrap, but they are um, in protectors, as far as I can tell. Oh, there's one in a protector. There's two in protectors. All right. Let's just dig right in, see what we got. Four pops. Mortal Kombat. I used to play this game a lot. This is Raiden from the... Funko Club exclusive, which I believe is GameStop. I think it is GameStop. If it was Hot Topic, they'd have a their own barcode. Um, Raiden was on that area that got smushed, so I don't know if this got damaged in shipping, but he's got 
some not terrible damage. I might be able to open it up and press it out a little bit. But it definitely did, 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 did definitely get smushed right there. Other than that, the box feels good. Uh, this is a brand new pop. Just came out. Raid. With lightning. That's cool. I will not be keeping that, obviously. And we got a peep. Cute. This is FYA exclusive. The Blue Bunny peep. I know people like these. Uh, this one has a little bit of damage right there. But from the front, it looks clean. Not a big fan of the candy. Not a big marshmallow candy type person. I like chocolate and caramel. Um, this has a little bit of damage back along here too. Kind of the common Funko lift up, I think. So I'm sure that there were disclaimers, like most people do when they sell mystery boxes, that some of these pops were going to have damage. Um, some of them do have damage. So. Alright, so the next two that are in protectors are this is one of the first pops I got out of a mystery box and it took forever to sell. But here he is, back, back home. Probably not the same one. You never know. It could be. Probably not. Uh, the box condition on this one looks good. So this is over Steve. Over, over Steve's. Let's see how we're doing in value on these four or three so far. It actually was a Hot Topic exclusive from the LA Comic Con. It has a value of $25 right now. So not horrible. And the blue peep is $13. And the Raiden with Lightning is worth $10 with the damage. Probably more like 6 or 7 but based on PPG... We're at 48 bucks right now, so hopefully this next one is the hit, and it's not damaged. So, boom! Well, that's a pretty good one. I don't know how good. I know that people like the Freddies. This was the in the corner that got damaged, but he looks like he survived. Let's see. Alright, so that's good. That is good news. He did not suffer. And, you know, maybe those other ones didn't were like that when they shipped. Who knows? But there's Freddy Funko. Special edition Statue of Liberty from the 2017 New York City Comic Con, 6,000 pieces of this one. Cool. Let's see how we did. We always Sometimes it's hard to find these Freddies. Hopefully, Freddy Funko, Statue of Liberty. Two sub variants. Obviously, one is going to be the 
there we, we got the one of them that doesn't have the Statue of Liberty symbol or whatever the heck that is on there and that is the shared Funko Shop exclusive there's not a lot of difference in value between the con sticker and the shared sticker it's interesting because that this sticker with the picture on there you think it'd be but it, it's the one that says fall convention not New York Comic Con so whatever it's worth 55 bucks so the other two brings our total PPG to $103 which is pretty good taking into uh, consideration the damage on there probably more like 95 I mean the ones that were damaged are pretty low in pops so $95 it was $71 after shipping so we'll make back some money which is cool and we'll be able to buy some more mystery boxes I do plan on getting another one of his mystery boxes seems to be pretty good value we didn't hit the big hit which you know can't do that all the time we were kind of doing that for a while like for a two month period I was pulling top hits like it was just SOP so we've had some pretty good luck in the recent past I mean we won the Funko Lottery that was pretty sweet so boom there you go not bad the favorite of all those is Raiden just because I have association with that playing the video games obviously this is the big hit but they're all for sale so if you see anything you like hit me up I usually sell a lot of times just PPG with free shipping sometimes it'll be I mean it basically ends up being just PPG with free shipping obviously the damaged ones will be a little bit less that's gonna be it for this video we do have some other mystery boxes coming one of them I'm waiting for it to sell out before they ship and I don't know how close they are but and then we do have the $75 J Novo toys mystery box coming which there's a lot of really good hits in that so pretty excited about that let's hope that we get one of those sounds when we open up that box that'd be sweet so until next time everybody stay safe stay warm enjoy your upcoming holidays Halloween kind of starts the Halloween or the holiday season for me